North America is sizzling. The temperature is rising from California to Canada and so is the death toll. Millions of people in western Canada and northwestern U.S. states are under heat alerts. Now the rise in mercury has all, broken almost all the historic heat records in Canada. And while western Canada bakes in record-breaking temperatures, the police have reported scores of deaths linked to the scorching conditions at present, the North American country is faced by a deadly heat wave contributing to over 300 deaths. As per records in Vancouver, the police have responded to more than 140 sudden death calls in the city since Friday. And the British Columbian region reported over 230 deaths early this week. Meanwhile, Canadian paramedics have responded to nearly 2,000 heat-related calls. The same heat wave has hammered northwestern U.S. as well. Temperatures in Portland and Seattle have reached levels not seen since record keeping began in 1940s. Now, soaring temperatures in California's countryside areas have raised fears of wildfires. Windy, dry conditions with lightning storms could spark blazes forecast across several parts of western United States. Now, Scientists have called this an unprecedented and exceptional event, also predicting that more unusual weather patterns are likely to become more common going ahead amid rising global temperatures. To put it in perspective, uh, both Canada and Oregon set temperature records that are higher than any temperature ever experienced in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Um, so this is, is truly uh, an unprecedented and exceptional event. Now, Vion correspondent Jagriti Dave is joining us live from Washington, D.C. Jagriti, thank you for joining us. Record-breaking temperatures. Could you give us a lowdown of the situation on ground? Yes, I think it's uh, from many uh, people who live in the Northwest Pacific area. They say this is something that they have not seen in decades. Let's take the example of Oregon in the Northwest, right. where say, we're hearing from the state medical examiner's office, um, which said that 63 people have died since Friday. Many of them have been found alone without air conditioning or a fan. And they're saying that hospitals in Oregon are also seeing a huge influx of people coming in uh, to seek treatment for health, for heat uh, related issues. So, you know, what we're seeing is sort of a, a, a huge, uh, an extreme weather event, extreme heat in an area which is not actually used to this kind of temperature, mm. which many politicians are, uh, and experts are putting down to uh, evidence of climate change. Right, Jagrati. Also, as I mentioned earlier, these Unprecedented weather conditions are expected to continue and become more common. There have also been sudden deaths linked to this. There are fears now of wildfires. Are there any measures in place? What is being done for that? Well, I think this is right now, there's um, meetings happening to try to exactly work out what can be done. This is not something that's new. I think we talked about those wildfires in the Western states, uh, in in the United States, the California wildfires on this program in the past where uh, it, uh, lawmakers, uh, environmentalists have all said, well, look, this is due to climate change as well. I mean, Joe Biden was meeting with uh, governors of Western U.S. states and mm. fire officials at the start of the annual North American wildfire season. Right. So, you know, it's not just the extreme heat, but also wildfires that they've had to contend with. I mean, wildfires is, is an issue where there's the issue of forest management as well that comes into this. But I think there is a real sense, you know, that, that climate change, something needs to be done to address it. We're seeing this Absolutely. on a global stage with the United States, the European Union and other partners, allies work, trying to work together, putting climate change at the forefront of their Absolutely. domestic and international policies. And bringing it back to home, we've had Washington's Governor hmm. Jay Inslee, who is um, basically in an op-ed in the Seattle Times saying, we have to turn up our level of efforts fighting the underlying cause of our changing world, climate change. Absolutely, Jagruti. Thank you so much for all your insights on that, but do stay with us, I will come back to you. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.